Let's say they're professional drivers. I am in Delta, Colorado. So I got loaded up yesterday with some lumber that was headed to the Colorado Parks and Wildlife in Delta, Colorado. And after I got loaded up yesterday, about five and a half, six hours later, I was able to get offloaded at their facility. And uh, that was pretty cool because I took that US Colorado 50 across from uh, 25 into Montrose. That was one heck of a drive. If any of you professional drivers plan on taking that pass, just be prepared. Uh, a small section of it is, uh, is dirt road from where they're doing uh, heavy construction. I'm about six miles from my truck, which is parked at the Walmart here in Delta, Colorado. I came over to their city park and drove it around it a couple of times. I'm taking a, a water break and then I'm gonna head back over there. So I wanted to give you my ending gross like I normally do at the end of the week. So let's get started. So my total fuel consumption was $2,497.81 for the entire week, which is actually pretty good. It's a lot lower than what it has been. And the total gross to my truck was 9,000. After you take out Nova Lines portion of it, take out my truck and trailer insurance, IFTA and everything else in between, along with that fuel, it leaves me about $2,400 in the bank account. Well, closer to 25, but uh, I gotta take out $50 for that uh, incidental that I got. Next week is the week that puts me in the holding pattern to be able to start maneuvering myself back down south to good old Texas. When I get in on the 23rd, fingers crossed I'm able to get in on the 23rd, that put me just right at two months out since I've seen home. And if I haven't told y'all about this thing, absolute lifesaver. If I didn't have that, I'd either be walking somewhere or I'd be staying in that truck for the 34. All right, professional drivers. Like I always say, I'd like to thank each and every single one of y'all for everything that y'all do through these dire times, this crazy economy, crazy fuel markets that we're having to go through. Everything seems to be high inflated on the spot market, nuts. But if we keep our heads down, stay focused and concentrated, keep chasing excellence, we'll come out on top. We will definitely prevail. And drivers, mm, can't forget about them four wheelers. They sure do get crazy at times. Old Rookie, signing off.